Welcome to Art Bites, Short Encounters with the Collection of the Marianna Kistler Beach Museum of Art. I'm Catherine Slodgett. I'm the Associate Curator of Education. And today I'd like to share, in honor of Black History Month, a print by Ruth Starr Rose. It's called All God's Chillin Got Shoes. Ruth Starr Rose grew up on Maryland's Chesapeake Bay. Working in the 1920s and 50s, she focused on dignified representations of the daily life activities and spirituality of African Americans. She documented the populations of Copperville and Unionville, two settlements created to reward courageous Black Union soldiers. Rose made portraits and recorded the history of some of African American founding families, including descendants of Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. She left behind rare representations of self-respecting Black people who are proud of their forebearers. Her family descended from ardent abolitionists, moved from Wisconsin to the ancestral home Hope House on the Eastern Shore of Maryland in 1901. Um, Ruth graduated from Vassar in 1910 and then studied at the Art Students League of New York. In 1914, she married William Searles Rose and they lived in New York City and adopted two children but they spent their summers at Hope House and the adjoining farm, Pickborn, which had been given to Rose as a wedding gift. Um, they lived very differently than their neighbors. Um, it was a racially integrated community and they socialized with their, um, their friends and neighbors. Um, Rose and her mother um, went to the African-American DeShields United Methodist Church in Copperville. And she's credited as the first white artist to create a work of art for, black, for a black church. The subject of her fresco, Pharaoh's Army Got Drowned um, in 1940 was to honor the minister's son who had perished in training for World War II. Um, it served as a metaphor for breaking away from slavery. In addition to her portraits, she often depicted World War II Black soldiers in combination with history and the Bible. Rose wanted to go beyond social realism to probe something deeper in the African-American experience. She says, I believe it was religion that brought Black Americans through their suffering. If I could only convey to white people this sense that the power of God is really present here for us, people of all colors, then I'll feel my mission is accomplished. Rose found the key in music. She had heard all of the great African-American spirituals sung tra by traveling ministers who put on shows in the kitchens of the Eastern Shore Estates. The artists mined this rich load of black musical folklore and imagery to, to create storybook style prints illustrating some of the most popular spirituals. As early as 1956, she was credited by Howard University's James A. Porter, the father of African-American art history, for her representations of the American spirituals. And you see here several of them from our collection at the Beach Museum. Um, her ear was moved by their dissonant beauty, and she created illustrations of the song that reflected how the members of the congregation felt as she sang the melody. Um, she envisioned a hybrid book featuring her lithographs with the design of the words and the musical notes arranged on each page. She entered into a long negotiation with Viking Press, even writing to an art critic friend in New York that the publisher intended to engage Paul Robeson to write the introduction for the book. Unfortunately, the book was never produced. Printing costs led to rejection of the publication. Unfazed, she worked with an art book publisher in New York for years in another attempt. However, the expense of printing the artwork continued to be a stumbling block. The mock-up of the book was discovered and is located at the Water's Edge Museum in Maryland. The layout for all God's children's got shoes displays her unique way of telling the story, a collage. The congregation's vision through a two-dimensional print the lyrics exactly as the church sang them, and musical notes with a brief history of each spiritual artistically arranged on the page. Rose labored through multiple versions of the given song until the church members approved of her rendering. What? 
Both the black and white and color lithograph versions of the spiritual reference Owe Them Golden Slippers, a minstrel song penned by an African-American um, James A. Bland in 1879. And it's a visualization of the gospel trail, which ultimately leads to the golden stairs of heaven, a cher cherished place for the reality of the black population. It was a place where every single one of God's children could soar with new shoes on their feet. She was also interested in the earthly origins of the spiritual. When she presented the lithograph to her peers at the Seriograph Society, she emphasized how Black people have nobly climbed their own ladder of success, despite their extreme historical disadvantages. Her speech notes refer back to the days of slavery in the Eastern Shore, when shoes were not only a rarity, but a status symbol. In other words, the economically driven United States, wealth and success, here embodied in the luxury of shoes were the trappings of a better or equal life. Um, she worked extensively with the theme and made black and white and color lithographs, um, including um, serographs or silk screens. Her studies and sketches and notes support her desire to, to perfect the message according to the congregation's wishes. Her efforts were rewarded when this particular print, All God Children's Scott Shoes, was honored as the American Color Print Society's image for 1947. As you examine and compare the two versions from the museum's collection, enjoy the rendition of the spiritual performed by Paul Roberson. He sang this in Eugene O'Neill's 1924 play, All God's Children's Got Wings. I got you, you got you, all the God's children got shoes. When I get to heaven, I'm gonna put on my shoes, I'm gonna walk on the God's heaven, heaven, heaven. Everybody talk about a heaven being gone in their heaven. Heaven, I'm gonna walk all over God's heaven. I got gold, 